welcome. Link down below in the description box if you want to read this shite at your own leisure. Co-op, New Game Plus is here. Ghost of Tsushima, this is exciting. Supposedly, it weighs in at about 10 gigabytes, and not all the patch notes are known for this game yet. It says update 1.12, but then it says update 1.16. Okay, whatever. Must be a typo. So what you're going to want to do is refresh this page every now and again to see if there's anything updated. The main point of these videos, again, is to let you know that the update is out and to start downloading it now. And to kind of briefly talk about the update, even if there isn't like full intricate detailed patch notes readily available. So Ghost of Tsushima Legends, as we know, is a featured two-player story mission and four-player survival mission, as well as a raid that will release in the weeks following launch. After you've downloaded version 1.1 of Ghost of Tsushima, you can visit the PlayStation Store from your PS4 to download a free unlock of Ghost of Tsushima Legends, which will allow you to play. Keep in mind that an internet connection and an active PlayStation Plus subscription are required, obviously, to play with other players. There's also a new character uh, in town appearing as well, Gaiozen the Storyteller. Once you have version 1.1, you'll notice a new character at various towns and locations in Tsushima. Gaiozen the Storyteller. He's heard the rumors about the Ghost of Tsushima, but he has a different perspective about what's actually happening in his homeland. Gaiozen, the author and gatekeeper of the stories you'll find in Ghost of Tsushima Legends, and when you talk to him, you'll be happy to share one of his transportative stories about the ghosts. Speaking to Gaiozen will give you access to the Ghost of Tsushima Legends lobby, but you can also get there directly from the title menu or the pause menu or by accepting a PSN invitation from a friend. Ghosts of Tsushima Legends will feature multiplayer classes. Yes, this is a full-fledged multiplayer mode. Here's you know a look at the classes that are coming. In Ghost of Tsushima Legends, you'll be able to pick between one of the four classes each one has their own unique advantages when you start Ghost of Tsushima Legends. After the short tutorial, you'll choose which class you want to unlock first. And as you rank up, you'll unlock each of the remaining classes. In addition to each starting with their own unique ability, each class can unlock an alternate ability as you progress, as well as earning class-specific charms and ranged weapons. While playing with friends, you can mix and match classes however you'd like, whether that's a party of four, all playing the same class, everyone playing as a different class, or any combination in between. Samurai. Samurai players can run straight toward combat and stay there, sustaining their health while chopping enemies down left and right. When you're overwhelmed, use the Hachiman's Fury Ultimate attack to slash through enemies in a flurry of strikes. The Hunter. As a hunter, you can stand on the edge of combat and snipe enemies before they even see you. You can also use explosive arrows to slow down groups. And when the combat gets really fierce, the Eye of Uchisuni ultimate attack will unleash multiple arrows straight at your enemies' heads, which is what will happen to you if you give this video a thumbs down. Keep it up. Ronin. Ronin players can revive their entire team with the breath of Izanami, ultimate ability. You might play Ronin because you want to help your human friends, or you might do it because the Ronin class is also able to summon a spirit dog. And yes, you can absolutely pet the spirit dog. Assassin, if you prefer doing massive damage with a single attack, you'll love the Assassin. The Shadow Strike ultimate attack will allow you to teleport across the battlefield and directly strike your enemies. If that's not intimidating enough, wait until you see the terrifying masks the assassin gets to wear. Story missions. Ghost of Tsushima Legend story missions are designed for two players and take you through Gaiozen stories about what's really happening in Tsushima. When you unlock higher difficulties, you'll face new encounters, tougher enemies, bonus objectives, and greater rewards. Survival missions. In survival, you can team up with three other players to fight off waves of enemies while defending different locations in Tsushima. You and your team can activate blessings to help yourselves, like ignite enemies or summon a spirit bear. The longer you survive and the more bonus objectives you complete, the more rewards you will earn. Raid. You'll need all your skill, top-tier gear, and a great four-player team to be able to survive in Io's realm. The raid is an epic three-part adventure that will require excellent teamwork and communication to overcome.
It will be released in the weeks following the launch of Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Outside of the new multiplayer, component Ghost of Tsushima's photo mode will also feature new updates. Ghost of Tsushima Legends also has a few features you'd expect from Ghost of Tsushima. Our robust photo mode is still present here as long as your teammates opt in, and you'll be able to show off all of the new masks, armor, and emotes that you've earned. For those not interested in multiplayer, the single player portion will also be getting new stuff as well. There's a new game plus, and even new trophies to earn. Remember that thing they said they weren't going to give us? Yeah, they decided to give it to us. New game plus, if you've already beaten Ghost of Tsushima, you'll find the option to re-embark on Jin's journey. Jin journey. In uh, New Game Plus, you'll start New Game Plus from the release to the open world shortly after Jin's initial confrontation with Khan. You'll keep all of the techniques, the gear, the vanity items obtained in any previous playthrough and difficulty will be increased to provide a new challenge, but you can still adjust it down in the menu. You'll also find yourself with a brand new New Game Plus horse, which features a vibrant red mane and unique saddle. There are also new extremely powerful charms available that can help Jin unleash devastating attacks and may change the way you play. You'll also be able to unlock an additional upgrade for your sword, bow, and armor. We have also added, well not we literally, but okay. I have people down below. Could you add this to the game? Yeah, I'm not a part of the development team. I'm just narrating the patch notes. We have also added some new trophies for playing Ghost of Tsushima on New Game Plus, which will appear in a separate section of your trophy list and do not count towards Ghost of Tsushima's Platinum Trophy. Ghost Flower Merchant exclusively. In New Game Plus, you'll be able to earn a new type of flower, the Ghost Flower. This new type of flower can only be earned in New Game Plus and is accepted by a mysterious new merchant that you will find in Ariake. If you complete a tale or activity and already have the reward, you'll earn ghost flowers in its place. So even if you've completed Jin's journey before, it's still exciting to explore Tsushima once again to collect as many ghost flowers as you can. You can exchange these flowers for new armor dyes ah, and other vanity gear only found in New Game Plus, featuring much more elaborate designs than those found in your first playthrough. Other features. Once you've installed version 1.1, you'll now find the option to enable armor loadouts, which allow you to assign all charms and vanity items to each armor set to quickly swap between loadouts to match your playstyle and role-playing preferences. So again, this is kind of like a recap of what the Legends and all that was all about and what has been added, but in terms of like bug fixes and all that kind of stuff, that's what's not in here yet. And that is why in the very beginning, it says that there technically are no detailed patch notes, even though I've been rambling on for nearly 10 minutes. So again, if you've made it this far into the video, which I know very few people will, that's okay. I'm not offended. I wouldn't listen to me either for this long. Uh, you might want to refresh the uh, this page that I have linked down below, like I said in the description box. I'm not going to make another video unless the patch notes are like really like elaborate and completely different than what's being highlighted here, I highly doubt I'll do it unless there's a lot, like I said, to discuss. So as always, if you like the video, go ahead, do like him, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. You already know what's going to happen. I mentioned it earlier. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally that would be fantastic now, wouldn't it? But if you don't, eh, Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as, and well, hopefully I'll see at least maybe some of you in the next video. And stay tuned shortly, for I will probably either tonight or tomorrow uh, start playing around again, because I did beat the game, uh, but I didn't do all the side missions. I might test out New Game Plus and see how that is, and just kind of take a first look at it and whatnot. So anyhow, that's enough talking. Bye for now.